but I had this VHS uh, tape about like plants and um, it had this short segment it was like a minute or so uh, that showed like pitcher, pitcher plants tropical pitcher plants and um, um, I was mesmerized and when when our teacher brought this 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 plant uh, the the fly trap into into the class it sort of like revived my memories of the pitcher plant and apparently there was this um, carnivorous plants um, exhibition in the local um, local greenhouse and god damn it I wish I would have been a little bit more savvy on the plants back then um, but I think they had some really rare stuff in there and I, I wish I would have been there to buy it um, these days you can only get like the very common species um, here in Finland um, but but either way um, I got myself an American, American pitcher plant, uh, which was my very first carnivorous plant from there. And ever since I've been hooked, um, I, I really loved carnivorous plants and really, really still love them. Look at these things. They're super strange. Oh, oh, oh. God, I wish I could have something like this. Like, oh, they're so colorful and beautiful. Look at these things. These are the the most primitive carnivorous plant there is. Um, they're the um, evolutionary step that I think Mister Mister Darwin, uh, on his adventures around the world when he was studying the theory of evolution. Um, he realized that these are the ancestor of, of carnivorous plants. Because if you look at them, um, they have this red line that goes through here in the middle. And if you imagine this as a leaf, it's basically just a leaf that has been basically like turned into or wrapped into a tube like this. And like they, they live in Indonesian mountains and then the rainwater sort of falls into the, these, these cups. And... Um, they have like this stuff on the inner walls that secretes like this very mild acid, and like when the when the when the bugs fall in, they they sort of melt, and the uh, the plant gets the the nutrients out of it, specifically like nitrates and stuff. They have this strange um, little thing up here, uh, which is like it's co covered in this sweet sort of toxifying nectar. It's like it, it makes the bugs drunk when they suck on it and then they fall into the pitcher more likely. And it smells very sweet, which lures the bugs in. They are, they are super, super exciting. Um, look at this. Isn't this super beautiful? Like, look at all these hungry boys in this, this terrarium. They're all there just, just being hungry and eating boys. God damn it. I wish I could have a terrarium like this. Man. That's so cool. God damn it. Someday. Someday I'll have a cool terrarium like this. Like this. They, they have this plant and the plant's leaves have these um, little strings. And then at the end of the strings, like these pictures grow. And they're, they're very pretty. Um, very exciting. So um, these guys are the most famous carnivorous plant of all time. Um, the most advanced plant in the world. Um, the only plant that has a nervous system that exists. So this is the most most evolved plant in all existence in, in our, our planet. Um, Dionaea muscipula is the um, scientific name. Venus flytrap. Uh, they have three different or the three little spines on their their uh, leaves oh, this this is a very good one this shows it so you can see uh, generally speaking it's always three but you can see on this side it has four but this one is very very small um, and they have this like sensory system uh, built into the plant that um, detects if if three of these have been touched uh, that means that the prey is too big so you don't bite if uh, one of them is uh, touched, then it realizes that the prey is too small and it's not worth uh, biting onto.
but if two of them is touched, um, it closes in underneath under a second, in like a fraction of a second, and it traps the bug inside of it. And then this red area secretes this um, acidic fluid that that sort of like dissolves the the, the bug. Sun dews um, look extremely alien, as you can probably tell. Um, they're entire leaf is covered in these hairs that have these globs of uh, nectar or sticky nectar on them and the bug goes to goes like oh that's a that's a dew drop i'm gonna go suck some water out of it and then they land on the the, the leaf and then 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 they're pretty much fucked um depending on the on the species um the either the trap just remains like this or or um, it bites or sort of bites into into the prey, uh, which we can see here on this image, um, like this. So they 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 pull all of their tentacles over the bug to cover it in these these gloops gloopy globs that are acidic, and then it eats eats the bug. How much do these plants cost? Uh, from ten to twenty euros. Not not expensive at all. Uh, which is super exciting. And then there, there are these super alien looking ones. Like, look at this shit. What the fuck is this? It's, it's, it's this tentacle that has these alien things at the end. Super cool. For some reason, only native to Australia. Um, they have these weird ground based. It's like a pitcher plant. Um, but I think the, the thing is that they've evolved into this shape uh, without any influence from the uh, Asian pitcher plants. So this is like a good example of why the evolution the theory probably is correct, because these plants have evolved into this exact same shape as the other plants on a different continent without any interaction between the two, because this seems to be the most optimal form for hunting prey. Uh, there are these adorable, cute little hairy pictures that grow from the ground. And it's basically just a bucket full of acid. And when the bugs, bugs jump in, because it's nicely colorful, um, they just nom 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 nom. Um, the most alien carnivorous plant, probably, um, out of all of them. Extremely, extremely strange. Um... They are called cobra lilies because they have this 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 tongue looking cobra tongue looking thing underneath their the plant uh, the plant's mouth basically um, like this. But these guys, um, before we continue work, I'll gush about these guys first. Um, I always wanted to have these, but these are endangered, so 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 no no for Mei Mei. Um As you can see. Uh, this is a really good picture. Um, if we look at the plant from this, this is the mouth, this here. Um, the mouth lures the bugs inside with, with a, like a sweet nectar. The bug goes inside and you can see these white, very bright spots. Uh, they're these spots that are on the back side of the plant. They let sunlight through, um, which makes the bug think that it can fly up because bugs most often like sort of gauge where they are based on light. And they think that they can fly up and they keep sort of like bup, 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 bouncing against the back of the plant here. When they tire, they fall into somewhere in the tube and the tube is full of these hairs that point downwards, which prompt the bug to go lower and lower and lower until it goes into the area which is covered in this waxy substance that, that is acidic. And then the plant eats it. This is a very close relative to the Saracenia species, which we showed earlier, the trumpet looking boys. Um, but yeah, these guys are super cool. They are, as their name suggests, native to California in the United States, um, Darlingtonia Californica. And I don't think they exist anywhere else in the world. Yeah, exactly. They are super clever and like, 
there's such solid proof that evolution exists because how the fuck would plants like that otherwise exist? They don't make any fucking sense. They're so, so strange and so clever. There has to be a process of elimination of that has gone for like years and years to create something like that because uh, like otherwise there's no no logical reasoning whatsoever to how something like that would exist 